What's up guys? I got a 10 gigabit switch and I'm going to do a speed test along different category Ethernet cables. So I have a Cat5 that on paper can go up to 100 megabits per second. I got a Cat5 e that can go up to gigabits, uh, gigabit per second. I have a Cat6 that can, for short distances, can go up to 10 gigabits per second. But for slightly longer, it needs to be a Cat6 a cable, which I don't have on this list. And then I have a Cat7 cable, which can go up to 10 gigabits per second. And I have a Cat8 that can go 40 gigabits per second, but I just don't have the hardware to do that. Let's just go run a speed test because the results will definitely surprise you. So I'm gonna explain the scenario real quick. I basically have two computers and I'm gonna do a local speed test. So this is my main Windows machine. I'm going to click start server. I've done a separate video on how to set up a, your own local speed test server. I'll link that down below if you guys are interested. But let me zoom in with the camera. So essentially all I need to do is with the Mac, I just need to go to that IP address and port, and then I can just run a speed test because right now my Windows machine is acting as the server. So I'm going to, let me zoom out with the camera. Let me switch the HDMI port to the Mac. Okay, so now we're on the Mac. So I'm gonna refresh the page. It's not connected to anything. I'll open up the internet speed test app. It's not connected to anything. So Wi-Fi, everything is off right now. So we're gonna start off with the Cat8 Ethernet cable. So this thing is beastie, and uh, this should give us 10 gigs, no problem. So I'm gonna connect this right here to the Mac Mini, and then the other side, my switch is right here, so I'm just gonna connect it here. And this switch is beastie. It's the XS512EM. I recently reviewed this thing, and uh, it's very, very fast. So I refresh the page, it sees it. Again, I'm going, I went to that IP address, 192.168.1.44, uh, the colon and 3000 is the port. And again, my Windows machine can handle up to 10 gigs. The switch can handle up to 10 gigs. The Mac mini can handle up to 10 gigs. And the cable can actually go up to 40 gigs, uh, gigabits per second, not gigabytes, but gigabits per second. And uh, yeah, pretty much got almost 9.8 gigabits per second download and getting right around that for the upload. So right around there basically. So very, very fast. If I were to do an internet speed test, my internet speed tests are five gigs per second upload and download. Now I don't like doing the internet speed test as much because it really depends on the server you're connecting to but we're, we, we are getting five gigs down. Some of the servers, the upload speeds aren't that fast. You just need to get like the the right servers so it could be as fast but it looks like this one's not doing too bad but basically i got just about my five gig speeds up and down just about okay so now let's test the cat 7 ethernet cable so and i'll save the internet speed test for uh the last cable as well so we're gonna go with the the cat 7 ethernet cable right here and I'll link these below too in case you guys are interested. I have a few Cat7 Ethernet cables from a few different brands. And they all work, at least the ones that I have, the three or four brands, um, the three brands I think that I have work really, really well. So give it a second, let's refresh. Okay, it's connected. We're gonna click start. And getting, let's see, is it gonna take, okay, so it took us up there as well. So again, nine point, 7, 9.8, and in an, in an effort to speed up the video, once it shows me these speeds for the uploads, I'll just disconnect it, just to make the video as short as possible. So, but yeah, we're, we're pretty much getting there. You know what, just let it finish, just, just for the sake of complete, completeness. Okay, so this Cat7 Ethernet cable didn't go as fast, so I'm actually glad I let it finish. Granted, if I do the speed test again, I have ran it with this cable and it does get to those 9.8 gigabit speeds. In fact, you know what? Let's just, let's just do a retry just to show that it, it does actually go there for the uploads as well. So, um, but they all pretty much go to those speeds. Um, the Cat7, the Cat8, uh, all the brands that I have of the Category 7 and above, they, they do get to those much faster speeds. So let's see, let's see the upload as well. Since we're just testing it live, let's just see what happens. Okay, so yeah, it is going better this time around. 
I was I was actually kind of surprised a little bit that I got to 9.3 cuz cuz I haven't seen it lower than 9.7. Okay, so we got the full almost 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 full 10 gigs, almost, not quite, but almost. Okay. And that can be a hardware limitation on the Mac, the Windows or the Switch itself that it's not getting to that perfect 10. Um but I mean that's very very close to it. Okay, next we got the Cat6 Ethernet cable right here. Now, here's the here's the kicker. This cable, these cables are short. And that's the important piece to this puzzle because if these cables were longer, they well the Cat7 would be fine. The theoretical limit for ethernet is 100 meters so I mean you can run a pretty long cable uh, but the cat 6 is not as long I'll see all of these cables are pretty short the cat the cat 5 cable I would say is a little above six feet but the cat 5e is even shorter so these are all short cables so the cat 5e and the cat 6 if they're longer you know, that's obviously going to affect performance because these things are rated for much slower speeds. But for short distances, so we got pretty much the full speeds with Cat6 as well. And let's do... Now, here's, here's where it gets interesting. Once I could take this cable out. Oh, because this thing's underneath it. I can't open it all the way. This little tab of up above it went underneath it so I couldn't push it all the way down okay so now we have the cat 5e ethernet cable right here and it's funny too because these cables get thinner as well so this cat 5e is a pretty thin cable the, the other ones especially the cat 8 is pretty thick Okay, so CAD 5e in theory is limited to gigabits per second speeds and I'm literally getting like the same speeds as all the other cables. And this, like the first time I saw this, I got really surprised. I was thinking, I'm like, okay, for short distances, they'll probably get, you know, maybe like three or four gigabits per second at the fastest. And I literally got, I'm, I'm getting basically the same speeds as the other cables again for short distances the short distance part is very very important and if I do an internet speed test let's see what we get with this again my internet speeds are five gigs up and down gigabits per second I mean look at that so some of the so I I review a lot of routers and mesh systems a lot and a lot of them come with Cat5e uh, Ethernet cables. And for the longest time, uh, yeah, so we got basically 4.8 down and 5 up. So very, very fast, incredibly fast um, Ethernet cable. Now, here's the moment of truth. I feel like I cut my, <laughs> myself off. Um, here's the moment of truth. This is a super old, super, super old Category 5 cable. And this was the one that I was the most interested in because the faster cables, I'm like, you know what, it's fine. So I'm going to do a speed test. And this is, this is going to be the kicker. Let me remove the Cat 5 out of the way. This surprised me the most. I was like, there's no way this cable is going to be that fast. I was like... I was like, maybe I'll do a gigabit, maybe a little bit faster. And it's like, no, it's, it's category five. It's really, really fast. Again, short distance, very, very short distance. If this cable was longer, I, I highly doubt it would get to these speeds because it's not rated for that. It's rated for up to 100 megabits per second. But literally, I got the full speeds. And again, just to show you guys, I'm going to refresh this page. I'm going to click start. And I'm going to unplug the cable just so you guys see, like, this is legit. This is a test. I'm doing it live. As you guys could see, it got cut off right away. And then if I connect it, let's see. Let's see if it goes back up. Okay, well, it stopped there. All right, so upload. It stopped. Uh, let me disconnect it. So, I mean, this is, let me connect it back. It's probably going to finish by the time it, it connects back again. 
Okay, well, there it is. It started going back up. But you guys see, like, this... It's crazy that a Cat5 cable... And let's do an internet speed test as well. It's crazy that a Cat5... Not Cat5e, but Cat5 can actually do these crazy speeds. I'm literally getting my full internet speeds. Um, basically, just about. Yeah, like, look, 4.9... And the upload, my upload is also five basically. And yeah, pretty much got full speeds. So the lesson here that I learned is that for super short, super, super short distances, it looks like even a Cat5 cable can support up to 10 gig speeds. Uh, assuming all your other hardware is, assuming all your other hardware is compatible with it. So obviously you need a compatible switch, compatible, like all the hardware. Because the parts um, in a network, everything works as fast as the slowest part in the network. So yeah, it's, it's, it's crazy that this cable right here, uh, I'm, I'm very surprised. Very, very surprised. Well, if you guys enjoyed this video, smash that subscribe button. I have way more router videos coming up, way more mesh systems.